A few months ago, I built this tiny but very powerful combustion cannon. And that led me to create tiny blow darts, which after some testing, I had them firing at over 500 kilometers per hour, which is just ridiculous for something this small. After all that, I've had another idea. What if I could fire ice out of this? Something interesting about using ice for ammo is once it's fired, it'll completely melt. No fragments, no trace. Once the ice melts, it will disappear. Before all that, I have to figure out how to make this work. One of the great things about this cannon is that all the power comes from the chamber itself and not the ammo, which gives it the ability to fire anything that can fit within the barrel. The only issue right now is ice isn't really designed to be shot out of this. So I need a way to make consistent ammo entirely out of ice in a way that I'm not just shaping the ice every time I shoot it. Now luckily, ice starts out as water, which makes it perfect for casting into a mold. Hence why ice cube trays are a thing. I made a silicone mold to make ammo in the first video with this, but there's one problem this has. I ended up changing the diameter of the barrel, so the ammo from this mold no longer fits. So I need to make a new mold entirely from scratch. And the first step to do that is taking these little wooden dowels and shaping it into the shape I want the ice to take. I ended up making the wooden ammo fit pretty tight in the barrel, so once I turn these into ice, I'll have more time to work with them before they melt. Now it's time to cast the wooden ammo into silicone to create a mold to make the ice. I glued down the wooden pieces with hot glue, and then I took some wood to make a little box to fit around the ammo so the silicone has a place to go. After mixing the silicone, it had a ton of air bubbles, so I placed it in a vacuum chamber to remove the air. After 24 hours, the silicone cured and I was left with a pretty perfect mold to create the ice ammo. This is the finished silicone mold and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Right now, I'm just a little concerned about one thing. When the water freezes, it might have air bubbles which won't give the ammo a perfect shape. I'm gonna fill this up with water and hopefully the ammo takes a good shape. This is really good to see. These actually have less air bubbles than I was expecting. One thing to keep in mind is that ice is very brittle. So I'm hoping that the sudden explosion inside of the chamber doesn't just shatter the ice instantly. Maybe that's not a bad thing though. This could be the world's first ice shotgun. Wow, that was way more powerful than I was expecting. In my last video, I bought this, and this is a chronograph. This tracks anything that passes between these two hoops, and it tells you how fast it's moving. After shooting the ice, I noticed I could only use about four pieces before the ice started to melt inside of the mold. So I decided to cut the mold into four different pieces so I could keep the remaining ammo frozen before I use it. In the last video with this, I made ballistics gel so I could shoot this into the gel and kind of see some more physical results from this. Although you see those high numbers on the chronograph, it's just hard to understand how powerful that actually is. And something I'm quite excited to see is when I shoot this into ballistics gel, I'll be able to watch the ice completely melt and just disappear inside of the gel.
took around a minute for the ice to melt inside the gel and afterwards you could see the water moving inside. On these shots though, the ice completely shattered because it was hitting the gel sideways. On the final shot, I noticed the ice went up and out through the top of the gel. After testing that, I'm definitely noticing the ice is not firing super straight. The main issue I have right now is I have no time to work with the ice before it just melts inside of the barrel. I've been cooling the barrel using ice, but that's just not enough. So what is colder than ice? Ice that doesn't melt. That is dry ice. The plan is to chill the barrel down as cold as possible so the ice ammo doesn't start melting the second it's loaded. Not only will I have more time to work with the ammo before it melts, but I also think the ice will shoot straighter since it won't be a different size when it leaves the barrel. It's not going to be spinning out of control right when it leaves. After cooling the barrel with dry ice, the ice had a similar speed, but it was hitting the target noticeably straighter. I ended up doing another test without cooling the barrel and not a single piece of ice hit the gel straight. If I use regular ice, I can only cool the barrel as cold as the ice, but dry ice takes it way lower, far below the freezing point of water. And this also helps ice stay frozen in the barrel after the chamber explosion heats it up. After a few shots into the ballistics gel, it looked pretty strange because you could clearly see the path where the ice traveled, but there was no visible ammo left behind. I was honestly very surprised with how much better the ice fired just from cooling the barrel that much more. For the next steps with this combustion cannon, I would love to clean up the design and start adding some more upgrades like a rifled barrel and even a way to pressurize the gas before firing. Just a couple simple upgrades and this could be a lot better. I would love to work with some of you to make this all happen, so feel free to reach out and leave a comment if you have any recommendations that could improve this project. This channel also just hit 200,000 subscribers and I'm truly just so grateful for everyone who's been here along the way. I truly appreciate all your support and I will see you in my next video.